And if you work with Blender long enough or you're coming from other DCC app, at certain points you will wish that the drag and drop feature that you can experience with Autodesk Maya where you can drag and drop in FBX and also OBJ files directly from a browser onto the viewport is available for Blender. But up until now, that doesn't seem to be something that is possible as you constantly rely on going over to file, import and selecting the file type that you would like to import before importing that file. And that is something that is about to change. Introducing the drag and drop add-on. The drag and drop add-on is a pretty cool handy add-on that allows you drag and drop in any file type of choice that has been specified on the product page into Blender's viewport and get it loaded. So if you're thinking about loading in FBX, USD, GLB, GLTF, OBJ, HDR, VDBs, now you can. And what's even better, you can drag an entire folder that contains all of the models that you want and load them into your Blender scene all at once. And for those who like to work with multiple models, you can also select multiple models and drag them in all at once and get them loaded. And for those who like to take a look at this, I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right here where you can check it out for yourself and see all of the amazing things that this has to offer. And with that said, once you download this add-on, before you install it, you need to open up Blender as admin. Now, if you choose not to open up Blender as admin and you go over to edit, go over to preference to install this add-on, it will request that you open up Blender as admin. So if you fire up Blender as admin and you go over to edit and go over to preference, and install the add-on, the add-on will install successfully. Now the next thing which you need to do is to hit on the install dependency button and this would install the dependencies that you need. This doesn't take so much time as this simply just installs and the next thing you need to do is to save your preference and restart Blender. So with Blender simply open right here, you would notice that on our left hand side that we do have a set of file types that we would like to explore. So all of the file types that we have here, we can simply drag and drop them. For us to start experimenting with this, I would like to select, actually let's get rid of this cube and then we'll go over to our viewport shading where we can see things in action. Now you would notice that we have two HDR files which are made possible by the folks at Polyheaven. So with this here, I can click and drag and drop this HDR into Blender's viewport. And once we do that, automatically this loads. So we can actually do it for the second one and automatically that would load as well. So you can see that we have the HDR loading properly. So in this case, if you like to load something else, say for example, the PSD file, it will ask if you like to load this as references, images as plain, or you like to load them as background image. So if we simply say images as plain, you would see that it compresses all of the layers and it loads a single image. And we have our wonderful piece right here. If you're also thinking about loading in an OBJ file, we can drag and drop an obj file so you can see that pretty cool now this is something that is not possible with your vanilla blender and having this feature will speed up how you get to load files into blender so you like to load in multiple files of course you can just simply drag and load in multiple files and you can just move them around if this is something that you want to do and at this point i would like to explore the vdb so the reason why we're loading the VDB here is in most cases, if you load the VDB within the viewport shading, it may not be visible like right now. So what we need to do is just make sure that we have it loaded in properly. And uh, for this, I might also want to reduce the size. Now we would switch over to our viewport shading. And because we're using Eevee, you might probably not see this in all of its glory. So we're going to switch this to cycles. So once we switch this over to cycles, you can start seeing all the beautiful things that this brings to the table. So at this point, if you like to go over to the VDB settings and start making some changes for the flames, for the density, that is totally up to you. It is also worth mentioning that VDB sequences is also supported. So if you like to work with VDB sequences, yes, you can. Now, something which I think lots of you guys will find interesting is dragging in folders. So if you have a folder like what we have right here, Let's actually scale this up so you guys can see. Right here we have a couple of files. So if I just simply go back and if we would like to load the entire folder in here, all you need to do is click, drag and drop. And once you do that, give this a couple of minutes and automatically everything is here. So you'd notice that it couldn't load up the GLTF file because we don't have the source file there. So it definitely tells you the one it doesn't load. But if you want to load GLTF, I would suggest that you make sure that all of the necessary files are attached so that when you load in the GLTF, it sure loads. So at this point, we can now go ahead and start moving things around. So I can go over to the ship section, drag this. Actually, let's look at this from this point. So I can go over to the ship and I can make sure that I have all of these things together. Move this one place and we can go to the wood bucket. And you would notice that we have that. Move this to somewhere else. 
and you just see how quick this loads everything so if you have like multiple files and you're thinking about loading multiple files or even loading an entire folder yes you can you can do all of that so while we talk about this let's actually grab a brand new scene and look at something that if you're dragging in a file say for example you're bringing in an fbx file if you hold on control on your keyboard and click and drag it offers options so you have import options depending on what you're trying to do so if you like to bring in fbx files that have animation you can do that turn this on turn that off and this is relative to the apps or the files that you're working with so i'm just going to go ahead and grab this other folder which we we're working with before and so i can so i can use that to show you guys some stuff so if we're also working with say obj if i select the obj hold down control click and drag and drop you get to see what i mean if we go over here to the gltf and i would like to load the gltf you notice this has all of the source files in there and if i hold down control click drag and drop you see what i mean so if you're trying to bring in your files with options so you want to have access to the import options you can literally do all of that so this is super nice and i'm extremely happy about it and for those thinking about bringing in usd files you can of course bring in your usd files and work with them so here are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. If you're working with media files, say for example an mp4 file, of course this works flawlessly as you can drag in an mp4 file and get that to work. But if you're trying to work with GIF files, then there is a little bit of a problem. Now I don't know if this is software related or the add-on related, the GIF files do not just load. Now all of this is beautiful, but I did notice something, that you can drag and literally drop anything in here. But when it comes to Blender files, it still behaves like a typical Blender file, which means that if you drag and drop in, it will ask you to either link, append or open. So in this case, you can just simply do whatever you must once you're loading in a Blender file. Now one more thing which I think you guys need to know is this, that this tool works as advertised and it's super cool. So if you just simply drag and drop, you can see that applies. But if you drag quickly and drop, this may not register. You need to make sure that when you're dragging and dropping, that your mouse registers that this is Blender's viewport, then you can drop. If you quickly drag and drop like this, that wouldn't work. So you just need to click, drag, make sure it registers and then you drop. That way, you will definitely get anything that you're loading in to work better. So if I go in and, and drag and drop that, you notice that this is there. But if we just simply do a quick drag and drop like that, that wouldn't work. So you need to make sure that it registers that this is Blender's viewport, then it drops. To me, this is way better than going over to file, going all the way down here and, you know, sorting all of this out. This is way better. It's faster. And in most cases, you might end up going over to export and exporting on top of a file that you expect to open. So this to me is a beautiful tool and it will come in handy for those who like working with multiple file types and you would like to just simply drag and drop them into your viewport and start creating. Furthermore, this supports animation and it is by far one of the coolest tools that I've played with recently. And I'd like you guys to go check it out with the link in the description. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.